All right, so the next thing we're gonna look at here uh, is to keep it moving forward. We're gonna look at uh, molecules that are polar versus nonpolar, how they interact with each other, uh, and then specifically um, the hydrogen bonds. What type of hydrogen, what are hydrogen bonds? How do they form? Um, and then what importance do they have in, in uh, cells, uh, which is gonna be, we're gonna find uh, something very, very important role. So think about this, for example, you have uh, water, a cup of water, and you're going to put into it different types of chemical solutions to see whether they're soluble, whether they dissolve in water or not. And you're wondering what, you know, what would make one chemical soluble in water and what would make one not soluble in water. And the key is going to be looking at the actual chemical structure and the types of bonds that are found within it. So for example here, I drew uh, C2H6. So let's take this. We're going to get two carbons. Okay. Uh, each of them has its four bonds, and we're going to put the two of them together like that. And then we're going to add in the hydrogens, the six hydrogens. One, two, three, four, five, six, each with their electrons. And we're going to ask whether all these bonds, you know, there's a bond, there's a bond here between the carbon and the carbon. And there are numerous bonds here between carbons and hydrogens, which are all the same. Are they going to be sharing the electrons equally or unequally? Well, obviously between carbons, equal. If you remember, I said hydrogen and carbon, even though they're different elements, are going to have a, such a similar electronegativity that they're essentially going to share the same with each other. So these are all going to be what we call nonpolar covalent bonds, which means they share equally and create no charge. So if a water molecule now has charge, negative charge around the oxygen. Positive charge around the hydrogens. How will this molecule interact? Will this oxygen attract those hydrogens? No, they're not going to interact at all. So this would not dissolve in water. This other molecule here, we have C3OH. So we have one, two, three, four. We're going to put an oxygen there. Um, Put in the hydrogens, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then there's another oxygen there. Uh, let's see, give this guy his other electron, like this. So carbon with one, two, three hydrogens, the oxygen with a hydrogen. Now we do have some bonds here that are just the same, carbon and hydrogen, also nonpolar. But we see something different, right? We see bonds between carbon and oxygen and hydrogen and oxygen. These are going to be polar and they're going to create partial charge. Right? So we are going to see charge being created here and that means yes there's going to be an attraction or interaction between these two molecules. So this one would dissolve, yes, this one would not dissolve in the water. Now water molecules themselves um, hydrogen bond you know, with each other in a specific way. So, uh, and I'm going to draw this here. Uh, put an oxygen. Uh, let me do. Give me a second here. To do this. We're going to draw two water molecules, and you're going to make sure you can draw water molecules um, because we see them often. Um, and we'll put one like this, like that. Now, remember the um, the hydrogens. Going to carry positive charges, partial positive charges, and the oxygens, uh, the negative charge, the partial negative charge. So as we look at this structure here, uh, we're, what we're going to try to do is predict how some of these different molecules I drew here will interact. So here's a negative oxygen, and here's maybe a positive hydrogen. You know, will they interact with each other? Yes, they will. Negative and positive will attract. And that attraction is the hydrogen bond. So the hydrogen bond is an attraction between polar molecules. It's an attraction between a partially negative part of one molecule and a partially positive part of another molecule. And that's pretty much it. So down here, negative attracted to positive. 
hydrogen bond. Now, here we go. Here's two hydrogens. Some people get very confused about this. So they think the bond has to be between hydrogens when in fact it'll never be between hydrogens, right? Because if this hydrogen's positive and this one's positive, no interaction. There's no interaction between the hydrogens. It has to be positive with negative, not positive with positive. Okay, so the oxygens will never interact and the hydrogens do not interact between molecules. Okay? So we have different kind of bonds here that you have to pay attention to. This is a type of bond within a molecule. That's the covalent bond. This is a type of bond between molecules. That's the hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bond is a bond between two molecules. Covalent bonds are bonds within a molecule to create or make the molecules themselves. Now some molecules, some big complex molecules, will have hydrogen bonds within them to create unique aspects of their shape, but the core structure is going to be made up of covalent bonding. For example, well, we'll soon draw amino acids. When we draw an amino acid, all the bonds within it are going to be covalent, but as, and bonds between amino acids are going to be covalent. But often you'll get long chains of amino acids that will then interact with each other, and they'll interact with hydrogen bonds, so they can like fold in that particular way. All right, so um, this is uh, just a little bit more on the types of bonds that form between elements uh, knowing whether they're going to be polar or nonpolar, and if they are polar, how that can affect one molecule's interaction with another molecule. All right?